What is up, bitches and hoes? I mean, <laughs> what is up, people? This is David Rocks coming at you with another Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. So let's jump in right into this bitch. <laughs> it's a mini Aya. The second time we've seen her now. Is this Aya's little sister? Is it Aya herself when she was a kid? And wow, that looks like a fucking fake ass Jedi Knight. Ooh, fake ass Jedi Knight number two. <laughs> She's like, fuck. I lost. <laughs> like, damn it. Just escape for nothing. Really, Aya? You're gonna, for one, fall asleep. Then fall asleep wearing nothing but a shirt. Jesus. Then fall asleep watching cartoons that yell. There's monsters right outside your door. Pay attention. You're like asking to get killed. Oh, goddamn. See, I'm trying to think she's sexy, but that haircut is just not doing it for me. The haircut is just fucking terrible. It's like Sybil Bennett from Silent Hill. I don't see a gun anywhere around her either. Like, what if the, what if the monster came in your house while you were taking a shower? What the fuck? What the fuck is that thing? Look, his damn feet are bigger than the fucking car. Holy shit. <laughs> Anybody want a light? <laughs> well, he's just here to light everyone's cigars for them. <laughs> I can just see him in like a restaurant. <laughs> like, do you want a light? <laughs> it's like a bird, a bird, the whole damn fucking thing. Oh damn, here we go. Bro, this nigga's roar just cracked it all. Oh yeah, look at Douglas. Finally doing something. Okay, we want to do right as this starts. Do not stand here because he will swat the shit out of you. Turn around, necrosis his ass. Because Necrosis keeps them from using the flamethrower on you. Well, sometimes it does. Hey, like right now I'm gonna get hit. Well, trust me, this helps a lot. This is the best way to... to hurt his fire breathing ass otherwise he will he will fuck you up unless you have a grenade launcher well I think what happened now is the top half of his head he came off so Ooh, shit. let him hit you first because he's gonna hit you anyway necrosis his ass again and go to work on his ass, because if you don't... Okay, that's bullshit. That is some bullshit.
And this should be the last necrosis of the Huffy. God, his fucking ass. That's right, bitch. Throw a fit. Got your ass beat. How did they even attach that to the back of him? Not to mention, where the fuck would they even hide this thing? This thing clearly hates humans. So how would you even get this thing to grow? And then where would you even store it this whole time? Like, what the fuck? Ooh, nice. Leave that as air burst. That is a good one. Keep that. Well, we're on this side. Crap. Okay, what you've noticed is he's destroyed the bridge, so you cannot go down there. At all. So, what I, you have to take the stairs now to get back around. So, what happens is I will go in here, grind, and I'll come back out in a second. And let's go. We've just grinded in there, so there's no need to do it anymore. And we need to go down here, because we need to go talk to Douglas. Remember, he's underneath us. Okay, I'll be back in a second. And we're back, and we've just taken out this area, and we've also taken out the bar area, too. Um, as you notice, I'm not going to be doing much fighting on screen, because you've all seen them fight before, and you've all seen them go down. So I'm going to try to continue with much of the story as I can. Hey, bitches. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. You're just sitting here taking a little chill, a little nap on the bench while I'm up there fighting his ass. Fuck. Should have roasted your damn dog. Oh, now you got the truck fixed up. Couldn't have done that before the big fucking monster with the damn lighter in his mouth came. Fucking blowtorch and shit. Jesus. Well, anyway, you gotta talk to him again. Thanks for your help. So come on, Trillo, damn. I got something for you. Yeah, that sounds like a pickup line, but... Anyways, onward. Let's go in here. Off screen. And let's go. We've taken care of that room, and I believe all four rooms need to be... Yep, all four rooms. So I will meet you actually back here after I've taken out all four rooms. Okay, and that completes all four rooms. So let's go ahead and take out the general store. And... Those two areas, the loft. Damn it, man. Fucking. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna take these three out. The junkyard. Actually, I'll meet you guys. Right as we're coming into the junkyard. And we're back in the garage, and as you can see, we're here with Mr. Tony Stark slash Madigan over here. And says, Sorry, we just stepped out of town. Don't just step out again. We needed you. <laughs> oh yeah, just like we needed Douglas. Like, where the f why aren't you in Douglas's face? Fuck. It gets even better. How so? Cue the epic music. They can change the host's DNA. Pretty nasty stuff. Parasites bring in their own DNA package, whatever they go. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I forgot you're the expert. A vector virus. Look at her. Look at her little stance. It's like, yeah, I know everything. You don't know shit, bitch. Some civilian organizations are using them for DNA treatments. Right. Retrovirus can artificially modify DNA. Now, what if it was used on reproductive cells? Then manufactured DNA would be passed from ch parent to child. As the virus spread, mutation would occur. Actually, human DNA already shows signs of tampering. Tampering by virus. Virus triggered evolution. In other words... Wait, that means the neomitochondria...
Like, really? You guys couldn't put this in actual color? You had to put it in black and white? Jesus Christ. You get- you turn pale. Madigan, it's dark as shit in the room. She barely even looks fucking... like human in the room. How are you gonna tell if she looks pale? Take me a monochondria. I have the reproductive power of a virus. And you would get the recipe for a worldwide nightmare. From which we'll never awaken. But why would anyone want that? It's a stumper, yeah? Well, if someone wouldn't want that, guess what, Aya? It wouldn't be a game, you dumb bitch. Follow your damn script. I think it's an airborne virus. What? Of course. We may be too late. But if we get to the shelter, we might be able to find a way to stop this. Okay. Let's do it. Now you're talking. I've got a good idea where the entrance is. Yeah, okay, yeah, you see? Look at that, I got a good idea where the entrance is. Where was all this shit before? Like, where was all this information before, you dumb fucking bitch? Like, really? I like how you just found it out when you're in the middle of the desert. Like, what did, who did you ask? There's nothing down here. Okay, well, there's a little thing to, to grind out here, and then I'm gonna go talk to Douglas, so I'll be out there in a second. I'm waiting for you to drop by. Thanks for your help, really. I got a present for you in the box. She's a little heavy at full auto, but a hundred rounds of squeeze, she's a little monster. Yes, he is talking about the gun that we have now acquired as soon as he stopped yabbering because no one cares about what he says. Come on, let's go! I don't give a shit. I got a time limit here. A large handgun. It's pretty dope. And we will be using that instead of this piece of shit. Oh, come on. Load it in there. Hurry up. I got a time limit here, bitches. Now load it. Okie dokie. Now I will reload all my bullets, and then I will catch you guys back in the garage, because, yes, I am really low on time. Okay, we are back here in the garage with Matt again, and he is saying ready to go. Where we're going is the mine, which connects to the shelter. And we are taking Douglas's truck, so maybe we might not come back here. Hopefully, because this fucking place sucks. But that will conclude this episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. This is David Rock signing out, and I will see you guys next time.